own version of dream cake. Why not? Dream cake are everywhere. So actually guys, naging trending siya mapa Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Nandun yung dream cake. So that's why I decided to make my own dream cake right in my kitchen. Actually guys, dream cake is also known as a decadent cake. So decadent or dream cake is not already new sa baking world kasi marami na siyang version. But with this uh, dream cake, it consists of five um, layers of cake. The first layer is the cake. Second is the frosting. Third is the chocolate goo. And then the chocolate disc. And finally, yung dusting sa cake. So guys, if you are curious how the dream cake looks like, please keep on watching. So guys, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for subscribing into my channel. This channel is already growing. Wow. As of today, it's 620 na tayo, guys. I can't imagine, guys. And thank you so much for your love and support. It really means to me. It means a lot to me, guys. And also, kung ikaw, napadaan ka lang at nadahanap ka ng video like this, dream cake, whatever, adobo, please uh, don't forget to hit the red button like this video and share as well and also click the blue button yung bell dyan sa ating uh, left corner para updated kayo sa mga upcoming videos ko. Thank you so much guys! Let's start baking! I got tons of soul on my true collective ball yeah. Famous is so famous, number one desirable I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one the first step is to make a chocolate cake. Here are the ingredients. 1 cup of granulated sugar, 1 cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, 1 fourth teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of instant coffee powder, 1 large egg, 1 fourth cup of vegetable oil, 1 half tablespoon of vanilla, half a cup of hot water and half a cup of buttermilk for this recipe i don't have buttermilk available in my pantry so i'm gonna make my own buttermilk using a half of tablespoon of white vinegar and evaporated milk to complete a one half kneaded cup for this recipe this is how to make your own buttermilk all you have to do is just to combine the white vinegar and the evaporated milk in a one half measuring cup. All you have to do is just to fill it up and then let's set this aside. In a mixing bowl, combine all-purpose flour, sugar, cocoa powder, baking soda, salt, baking powder and coffee mix it well and set this aside into our buttermilk mixture add in the vegetable oil the egg and mix it together next is to combine our wet and dry ingredients Fold it together until just combined. And be sure guys not to overmix our butter. After mixing, add in our vanilla, the water, and mix them thoroughly. And finally, transfer our butter onto our cake pan. Bake this at 160 degrees Celsius or 325 Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. Let's
let's proceed to our second step which is to make our frosting this is the second layer for our dream cake these are the ingredients needed for our second step two tablespoon of cocoa powder one fourth cup white sugar one tablespoon cornstarch one eighth teaspoon instant coffee powder pinch of salt one half cup fresh milk one half tablespoon butter and one teaspoon vanilla into our saucepan add our fresh milk then our cornstarch mix them together until well combined add sugar cocoa powder a pinch of salt and our coffee constantly stir them until mixture is thickened when you're done turn off the heat add in your butter then the vanilla extract stir until well incorporated let it cool completely and set this aside let's go to our third step which is making our own goo or pudding and these are the ingredients 410 ml fresh milk 1 fourth cup cocoa powder 1 half cup white sugar 100 grams chocolate chips 1 8 teaspoon instant coffee powder a pinch of salt and 3 tablespoon of cornstarch in our saucepan add our fresh milk then our cornstarch mix well add our sugar cocoa powder and stir them a pinch of salt and our coffee powder continue mixing until just well combined Constantly stir until mixture becomes thick. Add our chocolate chips and stir until it melts. This is the consistency that we are looking for our chocolate goo. Okay, let's go to our fourth step. Let's make the chocolate ganache or disc. For this recipe, you can actually use your double boiler or use your microwave. But for this recipe, I am using my microwave. In a bowl, you need a 300 gram milk chocolate. But for this recipe, I am using a dark chocolate. I'm using my microwave to melt my chocolate. So I set the timer for about 15 seconds for three times. And be sure guys not to overcook our chocolate or else it will become lumpy and grainy. After 45 seconds, this is how the melted chocolates should look like and you just have to stir it thoroughly. Okay, now is the time for us to assemble our dream cake. So what I have here is a 5 inches size of thin can. For the first layer, let's put our cake. As you can see guys, my cake here is already falling apart but it's okay. What I was trying to do here is to cut the cake and put it inside because my thin can is very small. So it's okay, doesn't matter. All you have to do is just to put the cake inside and be sure to level the cake. By leveling my cake, I'm using my spatula. All you have to do is just to press it down slowly and you're ready to go. 
For the second layer of the cake, we will be using our chocolate frosting. All you have to do is to spread it generously and evenly. For the third layer guys, we will be using our chocolate goo or the pudding. All you have to do is just to spread it evenly and generously. This time around guys, it's up to you how much chocolate goo you want to spread onto your cake. All I can say is that this chocolate goo is so yummy, it's delicious, and it's not so sweet. When you're done, it's time to use or cover our cake with a clean wrap. A few moments later. Gently remove the clean wrap and then spread our melted chocolate evenly onto our cake. Guys, this is our fourth layer for our dream cake. When you're done, let it cool completely until the chocolate sets into a hard chocolate disc on top. The next day. For the final step, I am dusting the cake. This is the fifth layer for our cake. I'm using my sieve to gently spread the cocoa powder on top of the cake. Again guys, it's up to you how much cocoa powder you want to spread onto your cake. And that's it guys, we're done. Okay guys, so ito na guys, yung ating dream cake, kalalabas ko lang siya sa freezer. Advice ko guys, kailangan itong dream cake na to ay ilagay ninyo sa freezer para yung chocolate niya is talagang tumigas yung pinaka top layer niya before you. So ito na siya guys, mubuksan ko na siya. So ito yung packaging niya. Papakita ko lang siya guys sa picture. Uh, I-attach ko siya dito sa video. So, buksan na natin. I'm excited. So, ito na siya guys. Nilagay ko siya sa pin can. Okay, mag-video lang ako dito guys ha. So, ito na yung um, dream cake. Close up. Yan, ready na ako. Yan, medyo matigas siya. Nagka-crack na siya. Yan. Iyan yung gusto natin, guys. Chewy, gooey. Yan. Yan, guys. Itikman ko na one bite. <laughs> Oh my god, guys. Sobrang sarap niya. Kung mahilig kayo sa chocolates, patok na patok itong dream cake para sa inyo. Kasi, nanunuot yung panlasa ng chocolate. For my toppings, actually, yung pinaka adis niya, I, I use a dark chocolate. I think it was like 70% of, choc of uh, cocoa. So, I think mas much better siya kasi nagbe-blend siya doon sa um, panlasa ng uh, mga layers sa baba. Sobrang sarap niya guys. Please give it a try and give me a comment down below if you were able to try the recipe. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much guys. Till my next video. Bye!